or welcome to the channel, I'm your host Poobarama and in today's video we are going to be breaking into the weekly update for Grand Theft Auto Online, talking about the discounts, deals, and double money methods, just about everything there is to know this week. The first thing I should break into is how to make $360,000, which just a couple minutes of work. As you can see, I'm currently driving the taxi, and as we know, the taxi business was just added into Grand Theft Auto Online like a week ago. The taxi business this week, if you complete just one fare, you're going to get $100,000 added to your bank account. If you complete a fare and as well make $20,000, you can get an extra $100,000 added to your bank account. And then if you complete enough fares and get $40,000 into your bank account from it, you're going to make another $100,000. That means in total, it'll maybe take you about 20 minutes or so, and you'll net maybe $360,000 at least. That is an absolutely massive chunk of money for just a teeny bit of effort. I would highly suggest that you just do the taxi work missions for a teeny bit so you can make that extra bit of cash. Now with that aside, we also should talk about the Arena War because that is on sale this week. If you like the Future Shock variant vehicles and you want to get your hands on like the ZR380, which is one of the fastest sports cars in the game, plus it can be weaponized, then I would definitely suggest to get your hands on an Arena if you don't already own one. It's incredibly cheap to purchase and all the upgrades inside of the Arena are also going to be on sale. So you can see if I make my way to the arena and I were to renovate my workshop and change it to, you know, urban or modern, everything is on sale, the workshop color, everything on it is completely on sale. So if I added a weapons expert and everything too, this would be the time to do it. But with that aside, let's break into the discounted vehicles this week and the new vehicle. First of all, we have the wheel spin being the Ocelot Pariah, one of the fastest sports cars in the game. I think it goes like 136. Pretty dang insane. I would definitely suggest to just spin the wheel every day, see if you can get your hands on the Pariah. We also have this, the Winky. I know, it's a very dumb name, and I mean, it's based off of Willy's Jeep, so I understand the name. I love the Jeep, and this is part of the prize right in the L. Less car meet. You have to win three days in a row. Honestly, I would just buy it if you want it that bad. This vehicle is not fast. It's not great at off-roading. There's really nothing special about it. Uh, the glass is obviously not bulletproof, so I would not really suggest this week to go for the Winky unless you really care uh, about this vehicle. It's cool looking, don't get me wrong. I think that this vehicle is absolutely cool looking, uh, but it's just not really worth the time for the LS car meet. The three discounted vehicles this week are all in Legendary Motorsport. We have the Zentorno, the Devastate, and as well the Itali GTO. Now the other day I made a video talking about how the Itali GTO is one of the best sports cars in the game. In fact, it's got, I think, the second best handling or the first best. So I would definitely suggest to look at at getting the GTO this week, it will be a vehicle you will not regret getting. So, first of all, we have the Devastate, which is normally 1.8 million. This week, it's 1.2. Another vehicle that if you like the look of, I'd suggest to pick up. Personally, I don't like the look of the Devastate. I still own it, just because why not? But it's, for $1.2 million, an absolute steal of a price tag. It's in the top five for handling of supercars. It's got one of the highest top speeds in the game, and even if you can brush aside the looks, it's a pretty fantastic car. As I said, the GTO is amazing for $1.3 million. That's a steal of a price tag, so I'd suggest to pick that up. And then the Zentorno is just one of the oldest, but still one of the most amazing vehicles out there. It still holds a very respectable lap time, and for the price tag of only $400, thousand dollars I mean that's literally like 20 minutes of work you can just do the taxi work and pick up the Zentorno this week so I would highly suggest to look at getting the Zentorno this week in Grand Theft Auto Online Finally, we have the Weenie Issy Rally, which we can see is right here at $1.835 million. That is very expensive for a Mini Cooper. Do I think there's anything special about it? Well, we're going to find out right now. I have not really done anything with this vehicle. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see how this car drives. Honestly, it's just going to be kind of an off-road version of the normal Issy. So, as you can see, it sticks really, really well to any type of off-road ground. Even without running off-road tires, it's pretty good on off-road driving, and if you like the weenies and the issies, then this will be the type of car you want to pick up. 
Personally, I'm not uh, I'm not a huge Mini Cooper fan, so this is not going to be the type of car I'll have sitting in my garage. But I think the car looks cool, definitely has some rally-esque designs to it, and it handles decently well, especially, as I said, for not having off-road tires on this one here. I don't think I'm going to make a whole review on this vehicle because there's not much to really review. But, yeah, you can see it drives decently well. It's got some decent drifting capabilities. I'd say it's a top speed. This car probably goes around 110 to 100. 15 miles per hour. It is in the SUVs class, so it's not going to be anything close to a sports on its top speed. Obviously, it's going to have all-wheel drive, especially with it being a rally car, but apart from that, there's really not all too much special about the car. I will say, though, very, very good handling. Sticks to the road like an absolute... For the final part of today's video, we will be doing the Power Station Time Trial. I'll be showcasing how to do it with one of the simplest vehicles in the game, the Body 801. But this time trial is a bit of a weird one. As we can see, you're going to have to do a bit of a shortcut right here. Because if you don't, it's going to take you much longer to go all the way around. So the plan is, we're going to make our way to about this destination and go off-road right over the mountain. Not exactly sure how it's going to work out, but we're going to find out. Now, I'm tempted to just do a bit of shortcutting here on the train rails on this beginning part. But I think it'll still be faster if we just go this way and take the road it wants me to. Which should be fairly simple. So here we go... And just keep on doing a bit of a wheelie. Let's just actually just face plant down. And then I'm going to cut through here. And yeah, this is pretty dang easy to do. All right, nice. We are on the highway. Now we can just speed all the way through the body. Almost died there. I don't know what the heck was going on with those cars. But we are all good. And now we just got to hold a wheelie. We're at 35 seconds down. So not too bad on time. I don't really know what we're on time, to be honest, but it doesn't seem like we're too bad. We got two miles left to get to our destination, and for now, I'm just holding a wheelie as hard as I can. All right, so let's keep on holding this wheelie. Come on, keep on holding it, and go over here now. Come on, keep on holding, keep on holding. All right, so we are getting close to our time, so I'm going to jump right here. This area looks pretty good. And this is where we're just going to climb right over. As we can see, we got 20 seconds left on the clock. And as long as we don't crash, I think we should be perfectly fine. So here we go. Let's slow down a little bit. I think we got plenty of time to slow down. And then we're just going to cut right through here. Don't want to crash, obviously. And beautiful. Look at that. Right through and done. Time trial beaten. One minute and 25 seconds, and that means we beat it just by about one second left on the clock. You can definitely do that a bit faster than I did, but I think that showcase is just a very easy way to beat the time trial with one of the simplest motorcycles in the game, the Body 801. At the end of the day, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it helped you out on, you know, getting some extra money due to taxi work and everything else combined. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.